focus this real fast. All right, here we go. All right, all right, all right. I need y'all to let me know if y'all can hear me. Let me go, let me see my live real fast, see if y'all can hear me. Let me see. Make sure I got audio. I decided to try out a Casper mattress. And Advertisement. Make sure y'all can hear me. Make sure y'all can hear me. All right, cool, y'all can hear me, all right, cool. All right, so guys, um, it's been a while. First and foremost, we got two toys in front of us. We got the Air Tool Air Assist, and we have the Air Tool Riser with honeycomb plate for the X Tool M1. All right, so two toys right here. We got. Before we get started, let me tell you guys what's been going on. This past week, I've been experimenting with things, and I've just been whoa. What happened to my stream? Where's my stream? Where's my, uh, my the screen? Did the screen just went blank for y'all? Did the screen just go blank for y'all? I, I don't know. The screen just went blank. Hello, what's going on, Levite? What's going on, Rob Beats? What's going on, Mina Rose? Yeah, but um, I just been going crazy. What's up, Aaron L? I've just been going crazy um on my Rakoma MT1501, my MT2002AS, and my MT1502. I've just been doing great. Audio is choppy. Interesting. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah. All right. Um, can you guys hear me good? All right. Yeah, first live. In. All right, let me know if the audio is fine now. Interesting. I don't know what's going on with the audio, but anyway, let's just, let's just unbox this because I want y'all to see what's inside these boxes. So let me grab some scissors. Grab some scissors real fast. Let's do this unboxing. Let me know how the audio is coming out if it starts to chop up again, guys. <clears throat> All right. Let me show you guys what we got going on right here. Audio is good. All right, cool. Good, good, good. How do you open up this box right here? Jeez. This box is no joke. Okay. Uh, okay, here's a thing right here. Boom. Boom. All right. This is the air, the M2 Air Assist right here. And it's supposed to make it so that when you use your X tool, your M1 X tool, oh my gosh, all these little parts. Jesus. All these little tiny parts, man. Let me see what's in this box right here first. All right, so we got a hose in this box. Got some holes in this box right here. All right. And this is the actual air assist module right here. I know it's kind of dark, but this is the module right here. All right, let me show you guys the front facing camera. This one is a little dark. So this is the actual module right here. How's the audio doing? The audio is good? All right, good. All right, this is the module. And the air, the, the X tool, man, I got to tell you guys, the X tool has a lot of little tiny components to it. I don't know what any of this is for. I see some instructions. We're definitely going to be using some instructions. I see some. It's a, It's just a bunch of stuff in here. It's just a bunch of stuff. And I got to be honest. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look, what, what is all what, all these little parts? What are, I got to be honest with you guys. Um, the X tool has a lot of little components to it. And it's just so easy to lose track of these little stuff. In the comments down below, let me know if it's difficult for you guys to keep up with all these little tiny components of all this stuff that you guys have. Because I know it is for me. What's going on? Happy Monday, Marissa, Dandridge. What's going on, Lenny? All right, what's going on, Mina? All right, so let's get to the riser plate. Let's get to the riser plate. Just going to open this up. But yeah, guys, I've been um working like crazy. Everything that I've been making has been selling out. I can't keep up with the demand fast enough on my embroidery machine. 
I sat down with you guys. I made a video and I told you guys about my little formula for production and stuff like that. And lo and behold, exactly what I was telling you guys happened to me. The problem for me right now, even with my multi heads, is efficiency. I can't keep up with the demand of the things that people want. And the thing that people want is you guys saw me on Instagram making it, right? You guys saw me on Instagram making it. And I, I, I just can't keep up with the demand. It's just, it's just overwhelming. Everything that I sell is sold out. I mean, everything that I make is sold out nonstop. It's just sold out. Yeah, hit the like button, y'all. Hit the like button. We got 31 in the chat, so go ahead and hit the like button for me, please. Ask any questions that you want. I have a little toolbox labeled for each machine's tool. Interesting. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Marissa Dandridge has a great idea. She has a little toolbox for each of the machines labeled with all the little components that goes in the... I lose track of stuff all the time. And I need to, I need to uh, use that. I need to, I use that method. If you read the instructions, yeah. All right, so let's get to the riser plate. Let's look at the riser plate. See what's in here. So more instructions, and we got. This is acrylic. If I take this off, I know it's acrylic right here because I know how the X tool stuff comes. And right here is a honeycomb riser plate. So I can stop burning, burning stuff like I do. Let me get in there. It's the riser plate itself. It's the honeycomb itself right here. All right. I'm going to put this at the bottom of my X tool. Let's open it up so you guys can take a look at it. How's the video looking, guys? How's the video looking? Is it nice and clear? Nice and clear for y'all. Let me switch over a little bit. Nice and clear. How's the video looking in the chat? Let me know. Let me know if I need to step it up. And this right here feels like it would cut you. So you got to be very, very careful with that part right there. Let me just sit it back in this. this uh, I want to call it styrofoam thing right here. Let me just sit it back in there. And let's see what else we got. Set that to the side. Make sure it doesn't fall. And I still have to finish this T-shirt order I have. It's a DTG T-shirt order. And I'm going to actually screen print on the back because it's one color that goes on the back with the guy's handle but the smoke design you guys probably saw that on instagram if you're not following me on instagram make sure you guys are following me on instagram and make sure you guys are watching my stories i post there often pretty much every day don't post on my timeline every day but i do post on my instagram stories every single day all right so um if you're not following me on instagram head over to instagram a dub productions and follow me there give this video a thumbs up guys 31 31 in the chat got a uh, 13 likes come on Give me some more likes now. Maybe I'll drop some gems for y'all. All right. So what's next? What's next right here? This is. All right. So I guess this is the riser plate. All right. I guess that's what this is. And this is sections. And this other part of the riser plate. Mm -hmm. And in case for those that are wondering, I think that's it. That's everything that's in the box. That's everything that's in the box right here. For those that are wondering, what is all the hype about the X tool? What is all the hype about these laser cutters and stuff like that? Guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, these laser cutters are magnificent. I'm gonna assume that this goes in here like so. Right, that's what I'm gonna assume. And this goes in here like so. Maybe, I don't know. No, there's just pieces of acrylic. I think that the X tool just sits on this maybe. I, I, I really don't know, I don't know. Honeycomb definitely goes at the bottom and screws in because I see some screws right there. So let me see if I see screws on this. No, I don't. Yeah, definitely gonna need some to read some instructions on this one because uh, I have no idea how this goes in. Okay, I, I kind of see it. I think it actually just slides in like so. 
there. It slides in and you lock it in place. All right. I don't know. Definitely going to have to read the instructions. But uh, yeah, this has been the most um, interesting unboxing that I've ever done. Oh, here's the, here's how it's supposed to look right here. So yeah, these acrylic plates, these do go on the side because now when they go on, let me show you guys, see if you guys see that. Let me switch it for you. You guys see that? You got the um, plates at the side right here. So yeah, they do go on the side. And what that enables you to do, that enables you to see inside as whatever it is you're getting cut or you're engraving, you can see it, right? So that's what that's for. Okay, so I know that. I know that now. 47 in the chat. Go ahead, give this video a thumbs up, guys. Need some more thumbs up so the video can get pushed out. Only going to be on here for a little while with you guys because I got a video for y'all to edit right now. Doing some exciting things. Getting some exciting things. So I think I'm going to go live and unbox stuff as I get it. Um, and guys, right now, because of what happened to me this past week, I think I need two more two-head machines. Uh, reason being is because, like I said, I was limited in the, um, the quantities I can make things, right? I was limited in, 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 in the um, efficiency of making things. And I couldn't, I can't keep up with the demand. It's just too much. It's just too much. As much as I was making, everything was getting sold. It's definitely a gift. But I want to tell you guys this, not to brag. But I want to tell you guys this so you guys can be hopeful if you're not getting sales. Only thing it takes is for you to find the one thing that people want on a consistent basis and you will be working like crazy. You'll get business like crazy. Hang in there and all you got to do is try. All you got to do is try and you can only miss but so many times before you make it, before you figure something out and before something sticks and before you're like, oh my gosh, I got to, I got to, um, oh, this goes at the bottom. The little rich part goes at the bottom. I have to, um, what's the name? I got to, I don't know how does this, I'm looking at the illustration. It looks like, I don't know what goes at the bottom, what goes at the top. I, I'm thinking this goes at the bottom right here. This little hole, it just makes sense to me. You, oh no, it doesn't. That's actually the top. It's, it's labeled right here. It says top and bottom on the side. But anyway, um, yeah, it's only a matter of time before you guys are like, yo, I got to upgrade so I can become more efficient. The next thing you know, you'll be buying more machines, more machines, more machines. And if you are in the house right now, you're just going to have to get a workspace like myself if you want to grow your business, right? If you want to grow your business. And for those of you guys, that are still hustling and haven't legitimized your business, go ahead and legitimize your business so you can start calling it a hustle and it could actually be a business. I, I got a whole video that I recorded. I got to edit about that topic for you guys. Let me read some of the comments to see what you guys are talking about right here. On again with Andre Glenn. What's going on? Video looks great. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Did you see TKO at the trade show? Yes, I did. TKO was at the trade show and they have some nice, exciting products and um matter of fact i need to call them so that they can give some to me because i want to show you guys something that's real thick that goes on shirts that is going to surprise the heck out of all you guys everybody has some dope stuff at the trade show um comment in the bottom if you guys plan on going to if any of you guys plan on going to gpx texas i think that's the next show i'm going to be at GPX Expo in Texas. Let me know if any of you guys are going to that. Uh, Dusty Davis says, what watt is that? And I've been looking at the 10 watt system um, to do my leather patch, leather hats. And that's exactly the next video I'm doing right now. If you have a combination, right? If you combine the X2 M1 with your multi-needle machine, multi-needle embroidery machine, we got a problem. Only problem I have with the X tool M1 is um, the fact that um, I wish it was a little bit bigger. And they have bigger lasers for that. And X tool actually does have a bigger laser, right? So you can buy a bigger one. Or you can always upgrade to the Trotec and spend a couple thousand, which is what I'm thinking about doing, to be honest. 
All right, so this is, let me lower this down. This is echoing. Um, I just bought one also, still learning how to use it. Let me know on the bottom in the comments if you if you if you're enjoying using your X tool, if you have one. Hello, you are awesome. I appreciate you, Nora Richardson. You are awesome. Um, I heard there was a kid at their booth. Is that true? Um, yes, there was a kid at the booth. I wouldn't necessarily call him a kid because he wasn't exactly like a kid that people would think. Maybe he might have been in his teens or early 20s, but I to the best of my knowledge, and I could be wrong because I think I asked him. I think he's the owner's son. I could be wrong. Or a cousin. But he's definitely related some type of way. But, uh, yeah, he was there. And um, he's cool. He's a cool guy. You know what I mean? He was, you know, no problem with a kid being at the booth. At least I didn't think there was anything wrong with that. All right, so this is the base. I don't know how this holds together or if there's some, supposed to be something that holds it together. But if this is it, it's kind of flimsy. Um, and I guess the honeycomb thing sits right in the middle. Let me switch it, switch these so you guys can see. Um, it's not making much sense to me right now, but to me, this, yeah, it's not, I'm not, I'm not getting the concept here. <laughs> I'm not getting the concept, guys. I'm not getting it. I mean, but I'm going to figure it out, though. I got to read the instructions. I got to read the instructions. Sometimes you just got to read the instructions. That view is too dark. You know, you guys can't really see anything. You guys can't really see anything. So now I'm, I'm going to take a bunch of questions. If you guys have questions for me, if you guys want to answer, ask me anything. Um, now is your time. Um, hello. Your, uh, um, oh, yeah, the wattage. Um, yeah, the 110. The 110 is fine. The 110 is fine. That's the one that I have. I have the 110 version. Yeah, so uh, my X tool is right over there. I just got the filtration system, um, the air purification system, rather. If you guys are going to use a laser cutter or anything that is carving or uh, cutting that might um, release some type of gas in the environment, I definitely highly advise you to get a filtration system. Um, I don't even, to be honest, think X tool should be selling this device without the filtration system because I made a bunch of patches before and I just had the, like the little hose part that comes to it going out the back window, going out the window and it doesn't cut it. It doesn't cut it. You're breathing in that stuff and that stuff is very, very toxic. So I believe if you have an X tool or if you have anything that emits some type of smoke, you should really, really have a uh, air purification system with it. Just like the, um, the prestige R, you know, all those, DTF, you know, the, the, the things that, um, that cure the ink or cure the uh, powder. Yeah. Or bake the powder. Definitely have a filtration system for all those stuff. Because last thing I want to hear is, you know, a couple years from now, people are, you know, sick over this stuff. So, uh, be very cautious with this technology guys. It's, it's all new stuff. A lot of it isn't regulated. I think the X tool could correct me if I'm wrong, but where does the X tool come from guys in the comments down below? Where does the X tool come from? I have an X tool D1. Okay, that's what's up. Okay, do you now the, the D1 is open, right? The top, top of it is open, so like all the all the you know smoke is being let out, and, and you got to breathe that. How do you use that? What do you do to to you know what I mean? To because I was for a while I wasn't using my X tool for a while just because I inhaled that smoke before. And like I felt like the inside of my lungs were coated with something, whatever the byproduct of, for like a few days. Yeah. And, and after that, I'm like, no, I need the filtration system. So, yeah, I got the filtration system now, the air, purif air purification system. And I'm still going to be cautious when I use it. Yeah. So I got all these accessories. So I'm ready to get to work with the X tool and show you guys some videos. But that's my disclaimer. If you plan on getting an X tool, Make sure you get one with a closed lid that has the air purification system because definitely, definitely, definitely um, those fumes are definitely not meant to be breathed, breathe, breath, breathe. Yeah, we're, yeah, those fumes are not breathable. They're toxic. They're toxic. So that's my disclaimer right there. All right. The best uni. How are you switching cameras? 
Oh, how am I switching cameras with this unit right here? Best unit, this unit right here. This unit right here. It's called the 8M Mini Pro. That's how I'm switching unit, switching cameras. I have both of my cameras connected to this device and this device going into my computer right here. All right. So that's how I'm switching cameras. Yeah. So um, will you be making another video with TKO? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. I'll be making a bunch of videos with TKO. I actually have some TKO product in the back. Interesting small ball. You know what? <laughs> uh, I see what's going on here. Okay. Guy small with the... um. Yeah, okay. He must be down with the TKO squad. He's asking a lot of TKO questions. But yeah, I'll definitely be making some more TKO videos. Definitely. So yeah. And that, that kid is probably, I'm assuming that that's him. I don't know. Yeah. I tried out though the hose out the window. It ran me out of the house. See? Exactly. Because it's opened up and you can't breathe that stuff. You can't breathe that stuff. So I, I, it's good to know that I'm not the only one. The best uni, um, comment in the comments if you agree with me. Definitely have a filtration system. I mean, an air purification system when you're using this stuff because um, we got to look out for each other, right? These manufacturers, nothing wrong with them. They want to make money. But at the same time, if you're selling a product that, you know, emits some type of gas byproduct this toxic i think it's very very important for them to tell us that right i think it's very very important that it should not be sold unless it comes with like i know it bumps up the price but my health is priceless and you know in a couple of years if i'm going to have cancer or something throat cancer from breathing these fumes like yo like that's so air purification system they sell it buy it. It's worth it. All right. So um, even the best uni that's using the air purification system, she says that like, it doesn't do that much. Like it doesn't like it doesn't make that much of a difference. I don't know, because I haven't used mine with the purification system yet. The best uni, can you comment? Can you comment in the comments? If it if it's a huge difference using the air purification system versus not? This is X tool talk right here. We're talking X tool. I'm from Kalamazoo, Michigan. What's going on, Kalamazoo? Kathy Tyson in the building from Kalamazoo, Michigan. In the building. Shouts out to you. Shouts out to Kalamazoo. It's just cool to say Kalamazoo. Mm -hmm. Likes, guys. Likes. Put them thumbs ups. Give me, give me a few more thumbs up. But um, let me know what you guys um have been doing doing with your X tools. Um, I know my name. Maybe funny, but my son made this for me. I don't know how to change it. Yeah. Um, can you change your YouTube name? Why did your son? <laughs> Why did your son <laughs> name your channel that? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, our kids, man. Kids are crazy. Kids are wild. I have a GraphTech CE six thousand forty. Do anybody know where I can get a chip and I can put it in my computer and plug it up to work with the machine? I lost a chip. I'm not sure what chip you're talking about, but my GraphTech just USBs up to the computer, so I'm not sure what chip you're talking about. People check out the merchandise. Give give your support. I appreciate that, Levi. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um yeah, you agree? Uh, Best Uni agrees with what I said relative to the X tool and the uh, how it emits those fumes. It's scary to use it, to be honest with you. Um, the last few times I did use it, I turned it on and I kind of like ran out of the room. So, yeah. And even if you go out of the room, you kind of got to stay out of the room for a little while because those fumes are still in the air. So I'm interested to see if that uh, air purification system the next tool makes really is is significantly effective um, when using it because that could be the game changer. If if it's not, then I'm just gonna stop using it and I'm just gonna get uh, a Trotec or something like that, or like a real commercial laser that actually has the pure the air purification air filtration system that really works. All right, so 
Let's go ahead and turn my laptop and it'll work. Uh, theoretically, yes. It has a USB out. So you run the USB from out of the graph tech into your computer. And that's actually the other way around. You run the uh, information out of your computer into the graph tech and the graph tech cuts as long as you have the program, right, to operate it. Sounds to me like you probably got a, a, a used graph tech or something. Where'd you get it from? Because, you know, it sounds, I still have to wear a mask and let the windows up. Mm, see? Arts and craft. I just, uh, I just want to say thank you to man watching. You made me start my own clothing business. Thanks, a -Dub. No problem. No problem. Shout out to you for starting your own clothing business and believing in yourself. So I tell everybody, man, even if you don't start a clothing business, you can save so much money just making your own stuff and wearing your own stuff. And nobody has it. And it's unique. And it looks good, right? It looks good when you wear it. So it's like, even if you don't start your own clothing line, over time, um, depending on what makes you more efficient um, when it comes to, especially times like this just passed, with uh, with the, all these sweatshirts that I made, I still have about six or seven more to make. But the problem is, in one day, in one day, I can only make four sweatshirts because it's embroidered front and back, and um, the front is about eighty six thousand stitches, and the back is about seventy six thousand stitches. So you guys can do the math. I typically run my machine at 800 stitches per minute, 1,000 stitches per minute if I'm online showing off, right? <laughs> Guilty. So uh, typically I run my machines at 800 stitches per minute. So you guys can calculate that if you know the math. Calculate that stitches per minute. 800 divided by 86,000 and some change. That will tell you how long it takes to embroider just a front, right? So I can only make four hoodies a day, four hoodies a day, right? So... I couldn't keep up. I can't keep up with demand. So everything I sold recently over the last week, everything I made over the last week was sold. Right. So I, I did make a lot of money, a lot of good money. And um, and it was a real testament. I, I, I sell stuff on a regular, but this was a real testament to the to um, what it's like when an item that you have is like in super super demand right in super demand and and you can't keep up with with the uh pr production you can't make enough to uh you know uh to fulfill all the orders for it so i actually left a lot of money on the table and i'm still leaving a lot of money on the table but i'm okay with that i'm okay with that because um you know you can't you can never you can only do what you can do right and i'm not going to sit here and not live a life and not, you know, enjoy some time to myself. So the solution, get two more two heads. <laughs> so over the next course of the next couple months, I don't know, I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to add one more. Um, and then later on at the end of the year, I'm going to add another one. So looking forward to doing that. And I know you guys can't wait to see me bring two more two heads in there. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine heads, nine full heads, 10 if you count the EM 1010, but I, I say nine. All right. So yeah, four and four is eight plus the MT. That's nine. Yeah, it's going to be serious. All right. So what's that? Uh, that's what I, that's what I run mine at T-Town t-shirts says. Um, I went down to 700 on hats sometimes now though. No, I run my hats at, uh, 800 too. Um, if you, when you hoop your hats the correct way, like you have no problem with hats, not to say that you hoop your hats wrong at all, at all. But, um, I'm just saying, you know, whatever you feel comfortable running it at is what you should run it at. And it also depends on the design, right? The design um, plays a huge part, right? If there's a long, complex design, then you might want to slow your machine down, right? Because the faster your machine goes, the more ch chances you have of something getting messed up. And it's not machine-based, guys. It's not machine-based. It's it's case-by-case based. I don't care what machine you're using. You're going to have issues. You're going to have needle breaks. You're going to have thread breaks. I don't care what machine you use. You know, I've had, I have some machine, um, it, 
uh, experience using other machines. And yeah, you, I don't care which machine you're on, you're going to have some type of issues. Will you be doing a mixed media item with uh, two or more printing ways? I could do that. I could do that. I suppose I, I could do that. I'll make something like that. I have a Roma T uh, TC, TC 1501, and I'm trying to sell it. Never use it. I want a smaller machine. How much you selling for, Tucker Mom? Tucker Mom, let, let us know how much you're selling for. Maybe somebody on in the chat will, will contact you um, and maybe buy her. Where are you located? All right, period. I actually haven't ever tried it yet. Tucker Mom, you haven't tried anything. Tucker Mom has an X tool and haven't tried it yet. That's good to know. And then Tucker Mom also has a T1501 and she's trying to sell it and she's never used it. What are you doing over there? <laughs> you just like to buy stuff. You got a you got a shopping shopping uh uh fix that you, itch that you need to scratch on a consistent basis. And it's not just little stuff for you. You got a big recall machine that you never used, and then you got an X tool that you never used. What else you got over there? No cap. All right, blessings, Ada. Blessings, one virtuous woman. Blessings to you, uh, Kiana. What's up? Go what's going on, Kiana? Hi, um, best uni says period to what I was talking about with the air purification system. Um, I just, I just want to say anything. Okay, cool. I got everybody. Um, yeah. All right. So guys, um, I'm about to get out of here. I got to edit this video and do some more stuff, make some stuff for, uh, finish up this stuff on embroidery machine and finish up this job. That I'm doing for this guy with these t-shirts on the DTG machine that you guys might have saw on Instagram. And then I'm going to be out of here, out of the studio. So I'll talk to you guys on the next video. I just wanted to go live and just talk to you guys real fast. But, um, you know, I think I've answered everybody's questions. So I will see you guys on the next video. Next video is going to be up almost likely, but I'll go live again if need be. Good night, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.